General Grievous and his battle droid army have currently boarded a clone transport ship. The clones are meeting them in the hangar, but this is not their only defense. They have their massive death tunnel halls, where they're hoping to slaughter hundreds of droids. The ultimate objective of the clones and Commander Fox leading them is to keep this grand mercenary captive and prevent General Grievous from obtaining him. What's going on guys? Daily here and today we're back with some more Men of War Assault Squad 2, the Star Wars Galaxy at War mod and we have 500 droids invading a ship of a mere 100 clone troopers in this epic death tunnel ship boarding defense. It should be incredible. I am still sick, so I've kind of lost my voice, so I'm going to try and take it easy today, but I still wanted to get y'all some serious content, BB. Either way, guys, if you do enjoy this video, please be sure to smash that like button, subscribe with notifications on, and comment down below how much you hate Commander Fox, because anytime I use Commander Fox in these videos, that seems to be most of the comments. Let's see how it goes this time. Either way, let's get into it. What's up gamers? I'm here to tell you about Instant Gaming. Instant Gaming is an amazing place where you can get some fire deals on all sorts of video games. Uh, seriously, it's like 60 to 95% off as you can see here. Uh, these are all of the Star Wars titles they have. They literally have every Star Wars title. Uh, you can also get XCOM here, Men of War Assault Squad 2, all of the games I play on the channel you can buy here for extremely cheap prices. If you use my affiliate link in the description, it helps me out a ton. So thank you guys for listening to this sponsorship and thank you to Instant Gaming for continuing to sponsor the channel. Alrighty then gamers, starting with a bird's eye view here, going in slow-mo and pressing start and here we go. The droids begin their march forward. There are commando droids, B1 droids, magna guards, even with some of the electro staffs which is kind of fun, and of course General Grievous himself. The clones taking a bit of a beating right off the rip here as the droids just spam fire into them, but as they try and charge the upper decks here, the clones manage to get a number of shots on them and get some serious kills on some of these droids. I mean, look at this. Tens of droids going down in droves as they try and move up here. Ooh, bit of a cheeky granata. Oh, that was really good, actually. Wow. Whoever threw that, you deserve a promotion if you survive. I don't... I don't know, it's kind of doubtful you survived this initial attack. Hopefully? Maybe? Oh, another big granata over here, but those clones already die, so it does not matter too much. And the droids seem to have taken the top platform here. Let's go into normal speed now and see how the droids advance forward. There is a small little platform area over here where the clones could potentially get some serious kills, uh, but it looks like they're not really managing to do so over here. Droids are just kind of sweeping them. Oh, the use of grenades from the droids has been actually pretty cheeky here, resulting in a lot of clone trooper deaths. And there we go. First part of the battle pretty much done, and now it's up to the long hallways. All right, just taking a moment in slow-mo here to check out the losses. So, yellow are dead clones, red are dead droids. I would say it's almost even here to start us off uh, with the clones and the droids both dying in about similar manners. Uh, yeah. Pretty, pretty much equal, I would say. General Grievous is still alive on the battlefield, and of course Commander Fox is as well, as he is all the way back here, and he probably won't be dying for a while here. Either way, let's go back into normal speed as the death tunnel begins to kick off. Oh, I forgot to mention, Sergeant Hound is on the battlefield as well, and you know what? He is going to use his pistol, because that is a weird glitch now. Get rid of the pistol. Get rid of the pistol. There you go, take out your rifle. There you go. Well, SMG. Whatever you want to call it. Either way, I don't know why the commanders only use their pistols now on the battlefield. It's really weird and dirty. You have to get rid of them completely to get them to actually use the rifles that they want to. Alright, but this death tunnel already securing tons and tons of droid kills really, really quickly here. Not too shabby. Some of the Electro Staff Magna Guards are out here as well. I don't know how powerful those guys are. Maybe they're pretty powerful. He seems to be taking a lot of shots, so maybe they got good armor. Not entirely sure. Where is Grievous, though? All right, Grievous is still chilling back here. I think whatever area here he spearheads could result in some serious clone deaths. That could be very, very massive. I mean, look at this. Dude. The death tunnel doesn't disappoint. Not one bit. I'm going to pause and pull my nose. All right, sorry about that, guys. We're right back on into it here. I I just want to be over this cold, man. It feels like uh, it is getting a little bit better today, I will say. But 
Oh, it has lasted a while and it is very, very annoying. All right, we do have some dead clones over here. I feel like this might actually be the easier entrance way in for the droids and General Grievous. But they seem to be focusing in on this area instead, which, I mean, all the power to them, but... Dude, I would just go for the right side. That seems like a way better opportunity. I guess you do have this cover here, so you can kind of spam fire, but I think the right side, yeah, has better cover. They're farther away. That, that seems like the better option. But, hey, they can do whatever they like. We do have a dead 65th Corazon Shock Trooper right there. He goes down. Have you guys been watching Ahsoka, by the way? I personally have not. I tend to like to wait until all of the episodes of a Disney TV show are out before I start watching them. Uh, but I don't know. People have been hyping it up. Uh, also, the amount of spoilers I've seen on Instagram and Twitter has been absurd. Just, like, not even... I mean, I expect to get spoilers if I don't watch it for three weeks or whatever, but literally the day that that new episode came out, and I won't spoil anything from the spoilers I learned, but I think you probably know what episode I'm talking about, the big one. When that episode came out, dude, the very day, like a few hours after it came out, I had everything spoiled for me. People do not give a crap, bro. They, they just don't. They just will be slinging spoilers left and right no matter what it gets to be pretty annoying uh either way the death tunnel here is surviving pretty well i will say tons of dead droids over here general grievous still nowhere to be seen he is cowarding in the back not doing much and this right side really only a couple droids going for it it, it still remains this side uh, where the clones are just doing a great holdout right now so why don't we time lapse this for a little bit and check out what happens All right, gamers, it's been about four minutes here, and no additional clones have died over this way. Let's see what happens over here. There are a few more droids assaulting this little area over this way, but the clones still manage to hold it. I, is General Grievous, like, glitched or something? No, he is very capable of moving. I don't know what his issue is. He is being extremely cowardly. Look, he's still just sitting in a corner. Okay, well, that's not going to be very helpful. The droids... They're picking at these clones, and that's good. You know, little bits of splash damage here and there. Let's actually see. Uh, this clone has 20 kills. He's at full health. But I have seen him get hit, so he must have healed. Um, this clone, Hound, has 6 kills full health, and this clone has 3 kills full health. I've seen all of these guys get hit. They must be healing. Well, and also, they do just heal over time, so that helps as well. The E-Web Turret has 37 kills. This guy's got 6, this guy's got 4, this guy's got 14, and this guy's got 6. Anyone back here got kills? This guy's got none. Okay, so anyone past this point, not getting any kills. But this little blob of 6 clones has killed hundreds of droids off the rip here, which is absolutely insane. We basically need General Grievous to get involved to win at this point. There's not enough droid power to win without him. Uh, or we need over here to work out. Let's see. This guy's got 11 kills. This guy's got three. This guy's got two. E-Web has none. This guy's got three. And that's it. Okay. I mean, it is looking rough. Let's just do another time lapse here and see what happens. But at the moment, it seems really, really rough. All right, so finally we have some action with Grievous. He goes in and kills Hound right off the rip here uh, and is working on tearing up some of these 65th course on guards. Uh, it looks like the E-Web is still focusing on the main front here, which is smart of it, uh, while the rest of the guys try and kill Grievous, but Grievous is going to be incredibly difficult to take down uh, because he's got so much health and he does take out the E-Web turret. See, if he had been doing this from the very start, the droids would have easily been clapping Commander Fox's cheeks, but instead he cowered at the hangar bay for so long, Grenade. Okay, Grievous does not manage to get hit by it. That's good. Wow, absolutely insane. Now, if these droids would just pop out and help Grievous, but that's really all they have, though. They don't have a lot of droids at all. Yeah, I don't... Oh, look. <laughs> There's some floating in space here. I don't think the droids have this. No siree. Let's just go in fast motion here. I, I think the droids are about to kick the bucket. I don't think they're winning this thing. Man, Grievous screwed the pooch on this one. If he had just gotten off his lazy butt and assisted, 
they would have had the W. They would have absolutely had the W, but they did not do anything. They were complete and utter buffoons. There was buffoonery. Look at this. Look how long it takes for Grievous to die. How much health does he have? He's almost dead. He is very close to death. Okay. Ah, but still. But still. It's tough out here. Oh, this droid came out to play a little bit, and he's dead. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, let's just allow Grievous to die. And then, you know, I kind of want to run this again. There we go. Grievous died. Uh, there's like 10 droids left alive in the playing field. Let's just send them out. Go ahead, boys. Have fun. Try and do something, I guess. Uh, they're not going to be able to. Yep, they all end up dying. Let's try a second wave. Asajj Ventress has now entered into the fray. That's right, boys. We're trying this a second time. The clones have lost their immediate advantage position here. Oh, except one clone apparently got up from his death. Um, and is chilling in the front lines here. He will die quickly, I'm sure. Uh, and all the clones that remain are from here back. So pretty much the progress the droids made is kept, except the clones did reman the E-Web turret, and Sergeant Howden did get up. Um, but the droids are assaulting with somewhat similar of a force. They have uh, similar numbers, but I added a couple more commandos and, of course, Asajj Ventress instead of Grievous and got rid of a few Magna Guards. Uh, there are still Magna Guards, but no more Electro Staff Magna Guards. So, a little bit different of a setup for the droids here as well. We're gonna see how the death tunnel does. Look at all these guys coming forward. This is a crazy march right here. Holy smokes, dude. Wow, that's a lot of droids, but the clones start opening up into them. And there's a lot of targets to hit, which makes it very, very tricky. Those DC-15Xs, though, can get insane collat kills, so that could be very, very big. It looks like that E-Web is also setting up some good puncture fire going right there, which is good to see. No clones have died yet, plenty of droids have died, so it seems like things are slightly going the clones way at the moment. Of course, the tides can always turn, baby. By the way, I'm so sorry, I'm trying to be energetic, I'm trying to be, you know, bombastic, but my voice is just not letting me. It just really isn't. I haven't had this dead of a voice in a very, very long time. Uh, but look at this. Asajj Ventress is out on the battlefield front and center this time around. Not really something we saw from General Grievous, so this could help out considerably. It also seems like the droids aren't taking as much cover as they were previously, which is allowing for them to fight full force forward against the Death Tunnel here. So, some pretty good things happening for the droids, some pretty bad things happening for the clones. Asajj is up front here, and she is going to try and take some swings here, but it seems like she's caught in deflecting a lot of the incoming clone blaster fire, basically preventing her uh, from swinging at these guys right here. Uh, but it is distracting these clones, and they are getting shot up from the droids beyond. Sergeant Hound, last clone on that block currently. The rest of the clones back here going down. Sergeant Hound ends up going down, and it looks like this pathway is going to end up going down. How's the other path doing? A droid went this way. Wow. Well, the droids completely consolidated their army on this assault over here. They did take some fairly significant losses, but nothing too crazy thus far. There's still some more clones back here, though, holding out. And then, of course, there's still Commander Fox here. And then these guys over here, the droids will have to take out. But at the moment, the droids seem to be doing pretty well. Alright guys, I've been utilizing the fast motion just to give my voice a break a little bit there. But either way, Asajj and the droids have made it to the front gates of the clone defense here with Commander Fox. Already, this is proving to be a very lucrative choke point with many a droid going down very quickly right there. Oh, there is more fighting over here too. It looks like more droids have realized, oh hey, we also have to deal with these boyos over here. So they've sent a few troops over that way, and they're all dead now. Um, some decent kills on droids over here. Nothing too crazy. Yellow are dead clones, red are dead droids. Uh, and now the droids are going down over this way as well. Uh, Asajj is going to move in, which is going to be problematic for the interior boys here. Uh, especially with these droids moving in at the same time. Asajj basically is a distraction, but she gets grenaded and dropped for now. She's probably still alive. Yes, she is. Um, 
but that did give the clones a nice little break there, and they get to continue to wipe out droids as they funnel on in. This is a very good choke point, uh, and she moves in to the mercenary right there, who is still alive. He's just laying on the ground right there. Oh, a couple clones going down now as they are getting fully distracted on Asajj Ventress and not fighting the droids at all. Oh, this is foolhardy. Commander Fox goes down. Oh my god, they fully focused on Asajj and didn't focus on the droids. Oh my god, at least they're getting grenades off on Asajj. That'll help. Oh no. She rebounded it back, knocking out all of those clones. And the droids do take the conference room here. Except now uh, they get back up and fight a little bit more, but do end up going down. So, wow. Asajj manages in wave two to recapture the mercenary right there. But there are still clones over this way that they've got to take out. And the droids can attack from over here as well as over here now. So it'll be a little bit of a double pronged attack. Um, and I think if Asajj continues to lead the droids, it will be an attack that results in a swift battle droid victory. If Asajj does hang back though, it will be uh, a lot harder for the droids. But there's Asajj right there. She's coming on in. I mean, she's got to be pretty low health, right? You know? Like, come on. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, she's very close to death. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh my god. Yeah, she's pretty darn close to death. Uh, she could go down any second now. Um, but the droids have fully pushed through the choke point here. Uh, laying on thick is the clones. Uh, this E-Web is still firing this way. It would probably be helpful if it turned around. I'm not sure if it can, though. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't have the range to turn around or something like that. Uh, but for now, the clones will likely go down to this assault. Alright, it did take a while for the last of those clones to go down. But go down they did. And there's... Wow! A lot of droids in the space-time continuum there. Um, but look at... Excuse me, look at this. Yellow are dead droids, red are dead clones. Tons of droids died in this second wave of the battle. Pretty impressive. Either way, guys, if you did enjoy, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe with notifications on, and comment down below. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.